Friday's River Valley Game of the Week between Springdale Harbor and Southside almost lived up to the halftime show put on by the legendary Southern Bells. Harbor took advantage of two turnovers to take a 26-7 lead at the half before holding on for a 49-28 win over the Mavericks. Southside, though, had 26 plays for 212 yards in the third quarter and scored three touchdowns in the quarter on two touchdown passes from David Sorg to Luke Wyatt and another to Kent Carlisle to draw within 34-28. Harbor answered, though, and pulled away for the win. The two teams combined for 162 offensive plays and 1,122 yards of offense. Sorg threw for a career-high 426 yards, and Southside had three receivers over 100 yards for just the second time in school history, with Luke Wyatt catching 10 passes for 120 yards and two touchdowns. Desmond Lopez Fulbright had seven catches for 101 yards and one touchdown, and Kent Carlisle five receptions for 103 yards and a touchdown. Eric Taylor covered the big 6A West game at Benton with the Panthers rallying for a 41-40 win over Greenwood. The Bulldogs led 40-28 with 6-11 left in the game. Benton stormed back and scored twice, finally with 2-13 left to take the lead and the win. Greenwood quarterback Hunter Houston threw for 272 yards and four touchdowns in the game, including a nine yard scoring toss to Luke Brewer for the 40 to 28 lead. Pete Perkins was at North Little Rock on Friday where the Grizzlies lost another close game to a ranked team in a 28 to 21 loss. Ty Massey gave Northside a seven to nothing lead with a one yard touchdown run in the first quarter and the Grizzlies tied the game at 14 14 on a 61 yard touchdown pass from Walker Katsavitz to Takavian King in the third quarter. Northside has now lost to the number one, number two, and number three ranked teams in the state. Harold McIlvain covered Lake Hamilton's 63-33 win over Van Buren on Friday. Van Buren, though, was within 35-27 in the third quarter after Peyton Pashir made the second of his two onside kick recoveries. Van Buren's all-everything Malachi Henry ran for a touchdown, caught eight passes for 126 yards and two touchdowns from Clark Seeger, and threw a touchdown pass to Logan Fowler. Walter Woody was in Charleston for the Tigers' 51-14 win over Lincoln. Lincoln, though, led for most of the first half, and as Walter pointed out in his story, blocked a field goal attempt, recovered an onside kick, and turned a muff punt into a touchdown. Charleston scored on four straight possessions in the second half, though, to remain undefeated in the 3A1 with a two-game lead in the conference race. That's going to take us to halftime of the River Valley Report. We'll be right back after these words from our sponsor, Ashley Air, with Gimme 5, and a look at this week's Player of the Week, as well as next week's Big Games. The Martins came over, we were having spaghetti When we suddenly noticed that we started getting sweaty As the temperature approached 90 degrees My buddy said, man, you gotta call Ashley Ashleyair.com When your air conditioner breaks, they're the one you want Ashleyair.com They're fast and they're good and they got it going on The technician showed up the very same day Got it fixed right and fast, he was on his way When your air conditioner breaks, you know who to call There's only one choice Ashleyair.com Give me five. Here are the top five performances from last week. The River Valley Player of the Week, Cedarville's Daryl Kadich. He rushed for 217 yards and two touchdowns and caught four passes for 113 yards and three more scores in a 48-12 win over Greenland. It was the ninth 200-yard game of his career, and the win was the first over Greenland for the Pirates since 2009. Number two, the Van Buren Lady Pointers wrapped up volleyball's regular season last week with wins over Salem Springs and Russellville. Number three, Hackett quarterback Cole Ketchum completed 18 of 29 passes for 315 yards and six touchdowns. Peyton Hester had seven catches for 135 yards and three touchdowns and also had nine tackles on defense and a fumble recovery. Number four, the Paris Eagles remained undefeated with a 31-6 win over Perryville on Friday. 
Duke Walker had 128 yards rushing and a touchdown. Nate Henderson led the defensive effort with 11 tackles, including three for loss. This week, Northside and Southside's volleyball teams are participating in and hosting the Class 6A state tournament. For this week's River Valley Game of the Week, I will be traveling to Logan County where Boonville will host Paris for the 3A4 Conference Championship in a game between two eight-win teams. In other key games around the River Valley, Walter will be at Mayo Thompson where Northside hosts Cabot. That game is huge as the winner likely will host a first round playoff game. Harold will be in Ozark where the Hillbillies will host Lamar in the 4A4 championship game. Of course, there are big games in the 3A1, but that's always the case in that conference. Cedarville travels to Mansfield, Hackett is at Greenland, and Lavaca travels to Lincoln. Southside also has a big game against Bentonville West in its final home game of the season. If you are not a subscriber to the Northwest Arkansas Democrat Gazette, you missed last week's River Valley Report where I had a great conversation with 145 pound defensive back Sebastian Crum of Greenwood. And you will miss this week's River Valley Report where I will break down that 4A4 championship game between Lamar and Ozark. You'll also miss the players of the week. You'll miss Rick's picks where he gives his predictions on all the games of the area. And you're missing the most comprehensive stats in the state on Thursday, compiled by Eric Taylor, as well as scores, schedules, and standings that are put together every week by Mickey Doyle. Had you looked at those, you'd know that Daryl Kadich from Cedarville is third in the state in rushing. You'd know that Southside's David Soar just went over the 2,000-yard passing mark for the season. You'd also know that Connor Stacy is still among the state's leaders in receiving and Van Buren's Dylan Barlow is among the state's leaders in interceptions. Get out and support these area athletes. A lot of schools will be celebrating senior night this week and next week. The state volleyball tournament is going on this week at Northside and Southside. And for the non-playing football schools, basketball season also started last week. Be sure to catch all of the photos by the award-winning Northwest Arkansas Democrat Gazette photographers. They can be seen and purchased on our website at nwaonline.com photo. So be sure to check those out online or in the digital edition. If you are not a subscriber to the Northwest Arkansas Democrat Gazette, you can join our team by subscribing online at nwaonline.com and click the subscribe button or by calling our customer service line at 479-684-5509. That's going to wrap up this week's River Valley Sports Report, sponsored by Ashley Air. We will see you next week when we break down the playoffs and the conference standings and the seedings and the berths, and God bless you.